Howdy folks! In this video we'll be taking a look at a few random videos I have shot from this wonderful Airbus A380. Hello. I actually wanted to fly one since, well, day one when they were released, but never had a chance to do so until now. As some airlines started to retire these magnificent birds, I knew I had to fly on one before there will be few or no choices left. So uh, while these birds don't fly into my airport in the wonderful state of Colorado, I knew I had to fly to a location where they do. And well, choices obviously are not plenty. There are a limited number of cities where they do fly to. In my case, I had to do a flight to Den from Denver to LA first. And then uh, this A380 was a flight from Los Angeles to Munich with Lufthansa Airlines. Uh, this was shot on a wonderful August day in 2024. Lufthansa, Lufthansa's configuration for the passengers is basically 509 passengers. Obviously, all the first floor uh, main cabin is going to be economy, and then on the upper deck, you have first class business, and you do have a few rows for the economy. And this is where you'll see me ending up uh, having a seat at. In LA, there were three main lines in order to get through the gate and get everybody boarded. Obviously, with so many passengers, you can imagine that lines get definitely long. And uh, of course, the longest line will be the economy line. You can see how many people are gathered by the gate. And I'm not even at the very end uh, of the line. There's probably another 25 to 30% uh, of people behind me lined up as well. Lufthansa's three lines, three doors uh, approach uh, boarding was actually pretty efficient and uh, the boarding with so many people still went fairly smoothly. You know, obviously a few traffic spots along the way, but overall uh, I was able to board uh, mm -hmm. without any major issues, which is nice. And because I'm an economy, I was not able to take the stairs in the front to go to the very end. You do have to go to the very end on the main cabin and then go upstairs in order to get to the economy seating in Lufthansa. And look at the storage bins here. Wow, this is fantastic. This is only for those on the upper deck and if you have a window seating, but this thing is so huge, you can probably start renting it out. The carry-on bins are uh, smaller than what they are on the main cabin. However, unless you have an oversized bag, you still should be able to fit it in uh, wheels first. So once boarding was complete, we started the taxi process. Since at SLA, we did get to do a bit of taxiing uh, before takeoff. Overall, this flight was uh, set for 11 hours and 10 minutes, and I recall we probably approached around that time frame overall. It was a good flight, co good comfortable seats, uh, because it was in the very last row. The recliner still reclines, but probably not as much as other seats, but again, sufficient uh, for what it is. Very nice and comfortable. Their entertainment system or the monitor, obviously, you can see it is a little bit dated, given that, remember, this planes, these planes were designed late 90s, early 2000s. I think A380 was unveiled 2005. This specific plane I was on uh, was manufactured 2010, so 14 and a half years old. So yeah, you can see a little bit of that age in there. But overall, uh, still a very good flight. Uh, from the meal service, uh, we got a snack of some crackers first initially, and then we did have a good uh, dinner, which was shepherd's pie, I believe, with beef, and uh, some chocolate cakes and corn, crackers, and uh, a parmesan stick, or a circle since it's not a stick in this case. The surprising part here was we had metal utensils, which is a rarity. Rarely you get to see metal utens utensils on an airline. So that was kind of nice. And then later on for breakfast, we did have uh, an omelet with some vegetables, um, some yogurt, and again, a granola bar as well. And if you wanted some jam, there was a roll with some jam on that as well. The only negative thing about this flight was that Lufthansa does not let people walk from upper deck to lower deck or vice versa once the flight takes off. So once you are seated in your section, that's it. They don't allow you to move around between sections. So that was kind of unfortunate. I wanted to do some walking around and to do some sightseeing, so to speak, but that was not allowed. Overall, a good flight, enjoyable, all good. For the rest of this video, I'll share the rest of the items that uh, I have shot uh, for around the A380 and LA part. Um, and then I'll do a separate video for the uh, approach and landing. Otherwise, this video will get too long. 
I will say something right out of the bat here. I have a little bit of the takeoff footage missing. My GoPro battery, even though uh, it was fully charged up, I had some third party batteries and it died right before um, the wheels started to take off. So we started the roll process and then you'll see some footage missing and then you'll see the rest of the LAA uh, as we take off. Enjoy the rest of the videos. Sorry, there is no specific footage at the takeoff mark. If I ever fly on A380 again, I will make sure that I don't use third party GoPro batteries. I'm sorry, folks. I apologize. I wanted to have that footage. I don't. But I'll let you enjoy the rest of the videos that I shot and have the rest and have a wonderful rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of the videos. Take care. Bye bye.